come and chill, 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 come and finish this project and this is what everything going in the custom rear deck i built in the custom door panel by the end of the video y'all will see speakers and all of this we got to wire them up y'all hold it down rock out with your boy today man stay tuned and for real for real let's get into it so guys before i even install these speakers i will be um making sure that all of these speakers right here measuring it around four ohms impedance and then I will make sure that uh, my, all my tweeters are straight. Um, a few of these tweeters had um, issues with the filters. So I went ahead and ordered some uh, filters. And what these filters do is block out all the bass, guys. Um, 10 come in a set for around five bucks. You can't beat it. Go on uh, Amazon and uh, grab some of those. But um, right here, guys, we have our tweeters. The solder gun is probably hot now. And uh, we go go ahead and start repairing those, and then once we're done, we go check and make sure all our speakers are measuring around four ohms a piece. Then we will install everything. So let's get into it, man. All right, so as y'all see, man, I gave y'all guys a bird's eye view of what's really going on with these tweeters. All right, so boom, got the solder right here. Got to place one on there. Put one right here. And we go out and do this in this way. So uh got two filters already. Uh, we're gonna need another filter. I found so within a couple minutes, we repaired three tweeters, bro. The solder gun come in handy, man. Y'all go to Harbor Freight, get y'all a solder gun, man. Did that one. And we did this one right here. But, uh, I seen this the original from Scar. And if I had this issue anymore, I got more guys. Alright y'all, we had to move some stuff around last night, but uh, now nah, man, I got some rigs, and I can think clear, so therefore man, let me just show y'all bro, I mean, won't do no just talking right now, got everything coming together, we got the tweeters, we got the wildos, but we had this set of eights, bridge down two ohms, as well as this set, they are going on the uh, RP1000, class a b amp and this uh pair right here is going on the um 75 a b so yeah bro we got everything on the up and up and i'm telling y'all guys bro yes sir mm, mm, mm. i can't wait to install it but uh yeah we finna uh start to wind up the six and a half and then we're going to install let me get out y'all light and we're going to install the six and a half so man, we finna vibe out. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh start with these six in the head. So let's get it, y'all. I 
Actually, I was going to finish up with the last tweeter. That's how I do it. I put a piece of heat shrink on. And um, I know y'all seen me using this electrical tape a lot. That's pretty much what I prefer. You know what I'm saying? But it really, whatever you prefer, or whatever your preference is, you know. And uh, to be honest, guys, if y'all can um, find some good disconnects, y'all let me know. Y'all um, put in the comment section. And I, uh, you know, try to use those. Look, y'all. Yeah, man, I'll be back at y'all and I get ready to install everything. Hey, look, y'all. I'm tired of stressing the fact. I'm tired of stressing the fact. Y'all have to subscribe to the channel, bro. First time around, um, I'm fully educating myself on this by doing simple research. And, bro, this the outcome, bro. I'm being under with y'all. Like, <laughs> hey, I be, I'm, I'm a geek, bro. I'm a bookworm, man, for real. Check me out. This is what reading and comprehending fusion with a little time and patience would do, bro. And I'm not just talking about for this. I'm talking about for anything you want to do in life. Your time is valuable to yourself. You know what I'm saying? So do what you love to do. Do what you like to do. And you go get a good outcome every time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give y'all a full... You know what I'm saying? Walk through. We're going to start right here with the rear deck. Y'all see I uh, wrapped it with some beige leather. We got some uh, plush cloth material under here. It's real soft. Uh, we glued it to the uh, frame of the rear deck, which is custom built, custom fiberglass. Painted the whole nine, guys. Um, this front shelf right here will be tucked behind the rear seat. You won't even see that, so... We didn't just take too much time into uh, perfecting this particular area right here, but I had painted the um, third brake light. That looked real nice. Uh, just the inside of it for the wire and stuff to come through. Mm -hmm. We got magnets on here in case I decide to uh, install my grill. Y'all see we got some imperfections, but I get like some wood or some plastic or something that's uh, very sturdy and we'll customize something to put right here, probably like a diamond shape or something. And we'll paint it this beige color so it can all look uniform. We'll just duplicate this piece and put it under this one and we'll fix that issue right there. But another thing, I ran into was that I didn't cut enough fabric. So now I know in the near future to cut more than enough fabric so I can wrap everything. You know what I'm saying? How it's supposed to be wrapped. But like, y'all ain't gonna see this when it's installed in the car. But it's just some issues I did run into. But luckily, they were in these particular areas. You know what I'm saying? So I got lucky with that. Um, now let's move on to the door panels. We're gonna start right here with the passenger side. Fiberglass for some uh, FSX six and a half from Scar Audio. Uh, we got some dust caps coming in as well. These are uh, 50 millimeter dust caps. We got some coming in so we can fix that right there because if I knew like I knew now, I would just uh, pull the speak out. You get you like a, a plastic tube or something about, I just say 10 inches long and you can push that dust cap back up through the um 
magnet because the magnet has like a hole through it because I had pushed all these in when that one went bad, but you see all of them out. And um, this eight and a half right here, we had an issue with this dust cap and it pushed in, but as you see, I got it out, guys. Real simple, just poke a little. I'm literally telling y'all. I can't show y'all now, but I'll show y'all on another video. You know what I'm saying? How to uh, fix your dust cap. All right, so now on the driver door, guys, this right here is really what made this project, bro. And I gotta keep it all the way 100. You know what I'm saying? This door was broke right here. I had the fiberglass, this door reinforced it, build it back up. You know, we got screws right here. We got wood behind here that's reinforcing this whole area. And it would help it sit in place, you know what I'm saying? So we had to really do some work with this one right here, man. And this is really what made the project. I mean, I got to go behind here and show y'all. Y'all see what's going on? We had to really get in there, man, make like a box, literally, just to uh, support one screw that's going to hold the door together. But you got to do whatever it takes, man, if you're doing this custom work. But me personally, guys, on the scale, I'm be honest with y'all. So now I'm finna rate myself, guys. And um, y'all rate my work in the comment section. On a scale of one to 10, man, what would y'all rate my finished product? Scale of one to 10. Me personally, I rate myself a seven. I'm being real with you. And the reason being is because I was patient with certain points of this project it's like I got a little frustrated and, you know, kind of lost focus, kind of rushed some things. So, you know, that's my mistake. And, and, and another thing, if I was a customer, I'd be pissed off. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you got to look at that. Uh, little stuff like this, you know, like that. So, these are imperfections that... Um, I'm seeing and that I will perfect in my future projects. So, y'all know on the first door panels, prime example, those door panels right there kept falling out. You know what I'm saying? But now I got a whole slab of wood, and it's better wood. It's birch. It's not that um particle board. This is birch, five ply, and it's holding perfect. I got self tapping screws. And y'all see everything just more so uniform. I duplicated the shapes to make everything look even. I halfened everything up instead of trying to cut one big shape. So I halfened this up, duplicate, made both sides even. You know what I'm saying? So it's little stuff like that that uh, you have to focus on. What I'm saying is whenever we do another project, we need to go run into these issues, man. You know, and I point my issues out because it's my work. Another thing, these are different colors, but luckily, since it's mine, I'm okay with it. You know what I'm saying? But if I had an entire car and like those two colors was off and somebody did it for me, I paid my money, it would be an issue. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at all this, you know, but we still have to wipe everything down but as everything is sitting down I'm okay with it cause it's mine you know so I give myself a 7 out of 10 straight up now if all of my holes were straight I wouldn't even be so hard on myself but this is something you can't change I can go back take this off and change this I can make this better Paint, I could repaint, you know what I'm saying? But this, you got to do something to uh, kind of compromise with it. You just sand it down, refire glass, something right there just to cover up the, the space, but you got to compromise with that right there. You know what I'm saying? So if I got to compromise with something, if I'm spending my money, that would be a problem. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm just kind of venting to y'all. Uh, we finna wrap this video up now. Hope y'all guys enjoyed the video. Remember, man, 
rate my finished product in the comment section. Now, for appearance, yeah, a 10, but overall finished product, it's going to straight out be a 7 because of the imperfection that I saw. You know what I'm saying? But everything got solid. And I'm putting the car just like that. Now, I promise y'all, it's going to look nice. It's going to look nice. Guaranteed. It's going to look nice. Even if I have to uh, get some interior pieces out the car and paint this darker color, that's what I would do. We're going to have to change the seat belts because the uh, Mercury seat belts, brown seat belts are around this color. So that's going to kind of help out too, guys. So y'all, like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, hit that notification bell and click all. So every time I drop a video, you guys will be notified. Y'all see your boy doing his thing. Slow motion really better than no motion, guys. And I'm just doing me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a car audio enthusiast. I'm a DIY do-it-yourself person. And I just feel like if y'all guys see me doing it myself, that'll motivate you to do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you see me saving money, that'll kind of, you know, help you save money in the long run, guys. So we all here to help each other out, man. And I'm going to see y'all on next video. Y'all stay solid. And remember, man, it's always the vibe, bro. Come and cheer, come and cheer, it's a vibe, it's a vibe, come and cheer.